and welcome to the gardening show, whatever. <laughs> we might post Here, this on Here, in on this. Well, hey, we've got an early Christmas present here. This is the uh, Who's Band X4. It's a quadcopter. I've uh, got this for, I think, about 39 bucks at Radio Shack. And it's a pretty neat little thing. You want me to start it? <clears throat> here it is. We went ahead and put the guard on, this guard that goes around the uh, propellers. And it came with extra propellers. But uh, you have to remove the propellers. They just pull straight off no, to what? put the guard on, Here's and then you put the propellers on. Let's let's start from the beginning. Let go of this. So the beginning here <clears throat> comes with a little uh, battery pack here. That's not. I think it's like a. Well, it's not. It doesn't last very long. You can only fly it for about six to eight minutes, if that. And then it needs to charge for about, oh, half hour, 45 minutes, it seems like, before it's good to go again. But when you uh, get it out, it's ready to go out of the box. Uh, the first thing you have to do is get your remote adjusted. This is uh, this radio controller is set up for mode two. Mode one is if you, I guess, are switching, doing the controls with, a, you know, opposite hands but this is going to be the throttle for mode 2 and uh, if you go left or right with it it's going to cause the hover the uh, quadcopter to spin uh, this is your control to determine the direction if you go forward it's going to pitch forward if you go backwards it's going to pitch the other way left and right when we get this turned on it's got LED lights I think blue for the front and red for the back and they will flash to let you know different things like they'll a pair of them will flash if it's not on an even surface to start out but if it's on an even surface all of them will be lit up when it runs out of batteries or the battery's getting low all of them will flash to let you know that hey you're getting ready to run out of juice here kind of a warning message but anyway to start it up the first thing you're going to do is you're going to move both these sticks since this is a mode 2 controller up to the uh, top left hand corner in each and then I flip the switch on and then you gotta rotate the joysticks around a little bit and I make sure this is all the way down then you hold down the trim button okay so it's flash red so the remote is is uh, ready to go and we're gonna plug it together right I know you're eager bud you're gonna have to wait Got to step back real So quick. you plug it on, it's on a level surface, all the lights are on. What you have to do now with the remote to get the propellers trimmed is go to the lower right hand corner on your left hand side and then toggle this. No, you see that flashed? Hey Sayla. So now it's ready to go. Move out of the Jump way. Now these propellers are really pro so, powerful. The controller will tell you how much, you know, so once it gets to about 50%, it's going to take off. <laughs> Woo! We're still learning how to fly it. It's uh, pretty cool. We want to paint in on the thing. So we're going to take off again. Just check oh, with some God. Get it to spin around. Stop. See? Stop. Pitch forward. <laughs> the important thing is when it gets caught in something. Samuel, move out of the way. It gets jammed, you want to kill the throttle. Otherwise, you can end up stripping out your motors. But the other thing that's neat about this, well, it's kind of a pain at times. But it's got some breakaway arms here that it's designed if it takes a real hard crash, it's going to it's going to break away to absorb some of the impact and you just snap it back together. Uh, probably a design flaw or you know if there's any flaw about this is just this wire. It, I can see it shortened out because of the pressure you have to put on to uh, pull this apart. But you can buy extra battery packs. There's an actual upgraded battery. It's like a 3.7 a milliamp battery or something 
last uh, a couple minutes longer and you can buy a couple and then put them on a, a multi charging like pigtail thing but anyway it's a fun little thing we're gonna have fun flying it this one or bub is one <laughs> he's eager oh oh tell him about your cut that's how powerful the blades are no i didn't cut my no. finger on that i cut my finger doing oh. some other stuff but anyway um if you're looking for something fun to do you know while we're kind of waiting for the weather to warm up for the gardening season highly recommend getting one of these little toys and it was kind of one of those things too that uh, is one of those purchases where you you buy it and you ask for forgiveness later right because uh, my wife wasn't super thrilled that uh, I bought myself a gift like this so anyway um, your Christmas if you got any questions feel free to post but again $39, roughly, Radio Shack, who's been X4. So I guess that's it for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye. Bye. Can I? Uh, I don't know how to do